Honorable members, I welcome you to this sitting. As you can see, it's a, a sitting that was meant for a specific purpose. I wish to welcome you to this sitting. Given the importance of the matter at hand, I find it necessary to call this sitting at short notice. You will recall that on the 20th of December 2017, the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development in compliance with Section 9.5 of the Public Finance Management Act presented the budget framework paper in line with our Rule 144 of the Rules of Procedure. At the time of the presentation, the certificate of gender and equity responsiveness was not availed as provided for in the Public Finance Management Act 2015. This sitting has been called for the said mission, for the said omission to be corrected. I therefore request that the sectoral committees should continue processing business related to the budget framework paper as earlier directed, and no interruptions whatsoever should be entertained. Thank you. And honourable colleagues, I beg to lay a certificate of gender and equity compliance as uh, made under Section 96 of the Public Finance Management Act 2015. Thank you. Let the records capture that. It's sent to the Budget Committee and all the sectoral committees which are dealing with this budget framework paper for them to attach to whatever they're handling. Mr. Speaker, in accordance with Rule 52 of our Rules of Procedure, I beg to lay on table the position response to the National Budget Framework Paper Financial Year 2018-2019 to 2022-2023. I beg to lay. Let the records capture that. It's sent to the committees, budget committee and the sectoral committees to handle together with the other documents. Any other supplementary documents from the Ministry of Finance should be sent directly to the, com the sectoral committees that are handling this matter so that uh, the process is not disrupted. Honourable members, this house is adjourned to the 30th of this week. Thank you.